Apple appears to be investing big into manufacturing their own types of displays, including the future standard of all display technology, micro LED. What could it mean for them? So Apple's trying to keep this on the down low, but of course that doesn't matter because big companies making big investments, that's not very easy to shy away from. But the rumor is that Apple's investing their own money into their own manufacturing plants that will be producing the next generation of display technology. For those of you who don't know, that is micro LED. In fact, no one is really denying that. The reason we know that micro LED is the future is because there's essentially no cons to it. For one, it requires less power. For two, it can be thinner than traditional display technology. It can be brighter. It means bezels can be thinner. It does not suffer from OLED burn-in, as we've seen be a major problem with all OLED displays. You have to worry about them burning into the display. This, you don't have to worry about that. And you can get even denser pixel densities than traditional OLED and LED displays. So basically, it's better in every single way you can imagine, except one thing. It's very expensive and it's very difficult to produce. So Apple, betting in the right way, is saying, if we jump to this first, if we try to make this display technology before anyone else, we're gonna have better and more innovative displays than the competition down the road when this technology becomes easier to produce and it means that whoever does get to manufacturing affordable and cheaper micro LED technology, they're going to rule the future. What we can expect is that it's most likely Apple would implement micro LED technology into the Apple Watch first. Why? For several reasons. For one, it's a very low powered device. You do not need much out of an Apple Watch screen. It is powered by a very small battery and it's outputting to a very, very low resolution. So experimenting with micro LED on a device device this small is the natural first step. You're not doing anything too crazy. A lot of the time the display stays off. So as micro LED is entering the market in kind of an experimental phase, we've really only seen it by Samsung's giant wall TV at CES, the concept electronic show as I like to call it. But if we were going to see this brought into an actual mainstream product, it makes the most sense it would enter the market with the Apple Watch. Another very convenient thing is that the Apple Watch is in desperate need of a redesign. Functionally, it's kind of fine. In every aspect a wearable needs to be. It's got cellular, it's got GPS, display is good, watch OS is good. People are buying into it. For Apple to try to top it this year and try to make something people are interested in buying again, they're gonna have to do more than a red dot. So that's why me, as well as a lot of other people are predicting it has to be a design change because Apple watches from the beginning have always kind of looked the same with the implementation of micro LED convenient at the exact time the Apple watch is kind of running out of functional changes, being able to make some design changes that will make the watch look more futuristic whether that be thinning the design of the watch or even the bezels on the sides. Being able to shrink those down could make the Apple Watch look even more futuristic than it already does. And of course, with the investment in micro LED, we could see Apple making this technology possible on other devices as well. I think this could definitely be helpful with future iPhones if we consider the fact that everyone wants Apple to ditch the notch and they're rumored to be ditching the notch in 2019. I don't really think there's a for sure way we can know that, but I'm imagining that being able to make display panels that rely on less power, thinner design, higher pixel densities will mean implementing those face ID sensors underneath the display will be more and more possible or embedding them into the side bezel in a more will become easier. Maybe it's even possible to embed these sensors into the tiny bezel that does go around the iPhone X display. Who knows? Regardless though, micro LED means that displays are going to get brighter. They're going to get thinner, which a lot of people out there may be like, who cares if the display panels are thinner? Phones are already thin. Keep in mind that doesn't mean the phone itself is going to get thinner. If the backlight and the pixels themselves can take up less space in the phone, it means there's more room for more things. Potentially battery life, more room on the logic board for faster CPUs, more RAM, more features is better. So when we find a new display technology that can take up less space in a phone, doesn't necessarily mean the phone's getting thinner, but that does mean the phone's getting a lot better. The pixel per inch thing is confusing to me because Apple's never really been the company that's like, we have the highest pixels per inch. They lead that market for a small period of time, but then usually the competition picks up very quickly. Like the 5 5K iMac was pretty impressive because there wasn't really other 5K displays at the time it was announced, or the Retina display was impressive, but then lots of other companies, of course, have pixels per inch in the 500 range and nearing 600 for a lot of smartphones. That's kind of standard now. So if Apple was starting to take over that market and say, no, now we have, you know, the 1000 pixels per inch market, what's really the point? You can't really see that at that point anyway. So my guess is Apple won't be really capitalizing on the fact that micro LED allows for more pixels because 
because as we've seen in history, having more pixels doesn't necessarily mean a better product. It means that your GPU and CPU have to work harder and most of the users don't really notice anyway. I think Apple's much more interested in micro LED because of that power saving option. Uses less power, shrinking bezels, is that's a big trend right now. Whoever ditches the most bezels gets the most attention typically. And on top of that, Apple's been having to buy displays from other companies for a long time now. If you didn't know this, all iPhone 10 displays are manufactured by Samsung. And a lot of people credit that as why the iPhone 10 is so expensive. Samsung charges a lot for that display technology they implement in the iPhone 10. And of course, this is a conflict of interest because they see that as their competing smartphone. They want to make sure the iPhone 10 costs more to make than a Samsung Galaxy. That way, the Galaxies have the upper hand when it comes to prices. If Apple starts manufacturing their own display technology, they don't have to worry about that type of upscaling. And they don't have to do deals with other companies either, like LG is rumored to make the iPhone 10 Plus resolution this year. Because apparently asking one company to make so many different displays for the iPhone is actually too much that they need to contact separate companies for building the same lineup of iPhone because this is the type of issue Apple has to deal with. Their phones are too popular. They're literally making a dent in the OLED market because of how much displays Apple buys out. So making it themselves makes sense. They did it with the A series of chips and now they have the fastest CPUs on the market. So I think it's perfectly conceivable to see that maybe in the 2020s or hopefully sooner than that, Apple could be their own primary manufacturer of display technology and then they can make their phones cheaper, they can make them better and potentially if we have the same engineers that made the A series of chips applying that same ideology for their displays, we'll get the brightest displays, the best displays that anyone can ever get on the market because I'm still reviewing my Galaxy S9 right now. It has a very vibrant and bright display, which I enjoy. What's on the display, that's a different story, but you have to give credit where credit is due. Samsung is an innovator when it comes to display technology, and we're very excited to see Apple enter that field. And if they're not making it themselves, micro LED still has a lot of potential that can make iPads better, that can make MacBooks better, iMacs better. Everything's going to be improving, luckily, because this technology called micro LED is right around the corner. So let me know what you think of micro LED. Is Apple going to start making their own displays? Is this a good idea? Do you think Samsung is to blame for this? Are they the ones poking at the beast by charging extra for their displays? All that good stuff, let me know in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here, and I will see you in the next one.